Landview's police department doing outside. Well, Marco stayed here last night. On the couch. Because you and Star were staying at the hospital. And, and we were both pretty upset about what happened. What happened? What has been going on here? A woman was stabbed to death here last night. A police officer. Why would anybody kill that very attractive young police officer? And what was she doing here anyway? No one has told us anything. John will know. Where is he? Well, I heard one of the cops say that he was at the police station. It just occurred to me that two people have been stabbed since you came to live under this roof, Mr. Montez. He, he was out to dinner with me. Lola and I decided to give Mo the night off, since we were the only people at home. Thank goodness Addie and the boys were at that amusement park. Did she say when she'd be back? Later today, I think. I was going to go to L.A. to be with David. Now, of course, I won't go because, well, with this lunatic on the loose, Oh, <laughs> thank heaven you two girls weren't here. What's wrong? My cousin tried to steal my boyfriend. That's what's wrong. Lola's been after Marco since the minute she got here. Oh, how dare you, young lady? I didn't do we anything. We took you as a oh, guest. That's so not true. Hey, please, let's, let's, just, let's just talk to each other. What's there to talk about? It is absolutely wrong to go after someone who's already spoken for. I didn't do that. Oh, then why do Marco and Langston both say you did? Lola didn't mean to do anything wrong, Dorian. Uh, oh, so kissing Marco, rubbing herself all over him, that's not wrong? Uh, yeah. Okay, I liked Marco. But once I found out that he wanted to be with Langston, I totally backed off. Oh, yeah, right. We took this girl into my house. She was our guest, and this is how she repays us. It's not a crime to make a mistake. I swear I did what you told me to do at the Buenos Aires Cafe, I swear. And what was that, may I ask? I went into the kitchen and I told Marco that I didn't want to come in between him and Langston and that I valued my family too much to do that. Oh my, she's pathological. Huh, clearly. No, no, that is exactly what I asked Lola to do. That, that's exactly what I asked her to do. And she did that. Right, Marco? She did that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. She did come into the kitchen. She told me she promised her dad she'd forget about me. And then she tried to make out with me. Is what Marco saying true? Of course it's true. But why don't we just let Marco speak? Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. And that's not the first time Lola made a plate for me. What does He's that mean? Like... I want to hear what he has to say. Well, the night of the dance, she kissed me then too. I know I did. Be quiet. And she begged me not to say anything, so I didn't. Because I knew how much it would kill Langston knowing what her cousin did. Puppy. Don't listen to him. Don't let me. Don't let him call me a liar. He's calling you a liar. You, you are a young girl who's having feelings you're not used to. Don't having. treat me like a child. I will treat you oh, the way you deserve. You to have be. turned my father against me. You will pay for this. Lola, Lola. Darling, this must be awful for you. Painful, in fact. You were so kind to Lola and for her to do this to you. Yeah, it's... It stinks. But I have the type of boyfriend who didn't let her get away with it. Yeah, you got that right. Lola is very upset. I imagine she is. Must be painful being outed as a skanky hoe. Don't you speak of my daughter like that. Langston, I apologize to you. 
To you as well, Monaco. I am so sorry she did what she did. Well, it's over now. I, I don't, I don't get it because I know she loves you. Don't worry about it. Excuse us. I obviously don't know my child like I should. She isn't a child. She's a young woman. I've been trying to make up for the time we lost by being open, trying to draw her out. But she's a mystery to me. You did the right thing. You told her you disapproved. You told her to stop pursuing Marco. I told her. We talked. And then she broke the promise we made. And what promise was that? We had a, a serious conversation. What promise did you make? Between Lola and me. Oh, I get it. You have a conversation with Lola, and our daughters end up at each other's throats. You know why, and I'm not supposed to know? When I, when I told her that it was wrong for her to pursue Marco, she accused me of doing the same thing with you. I really don't understand. You don't, you don't understand? I cannot ask my daughter to deny her heart's desire if I am not willing to do the same. I'm kind of glad all this happened. What? Well, now everything's out in the open. I hated keeping secrets from you. I don't care if it's like a surprise party, but not when it's my cousin sticking her tongue down your throat. <sighs> She's not going to do that anymore, remember? <sighs> what? What's wrong? Lola said she was going to make us pay. How far do you think she'd go? Lola, what are you doing here? I couldn't live with myself if I didn't tell the right person what I know. What are you talking about? Don't hate me, okay? This is for your own good. What is it you want to say? Cole didn't use his own sample on his last drug test. He asked his friend Mark Rivera to do it for him. challenged me. How could I ask her to give up on her cousin's boyfriend if I was trying to become intimate with a married woman? What kind of father am I to do the very thing I say is forbidden? Are you saying you are interested in me? How could I not be? I'm telling you, we don't have to worry about Lola anymore. Even after she said she'd make us both pay and then stormed out of the room? Oh, she'll get over it. Now, can we please stop thinking about her? Hey, guys. Hey. hey. So are you sorry you missed out on all the fun last night? I have never been so glad to sleep in a chair in my mother's hospital room in my life. I can't believe somebody died here. I know. It was horrible. Are you guys both OK? Not really, but not just because of that. Why? What else is wrong? Lola. I haven't lived in Latvia that long, but Cole's always been really nice to me. I don't want you to wreck your life. Since when do you give a damn about me? You're Marco's friend. Of course I care about you. Well, maybe you should worry about Marco. I mean, yesterday he was saying he was having problems of his own. Because it turns out you're crazy. Let me see if I've got this straight. In order to get your daughter to keep her mitts off my daughter's boyfriend, uh, you let me think that uh, your feelings for me were all in my head. I just didn't want anybody to get hurt anymore. You told me <laughs> that your attentions to me were just a game. Whatever I said, I was just trying to protect you. And the only way you could think of to protect me was to humiliate me? 
Okay, it was not my intention to to hurt you. I am I'm just I was trying to get some kind of control over this. Wouldn't it have been much simpler to just tell me the truth? There is something under all of this. There is like a there is like a storm like a like a Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Do not go there. Look, your daughter was calling you on the fact that you were chasing after a married woman, which is indeed far worse than, than her going after her cousin's boyfriend. Yes, yes, and that concerns me, obviously. Concerns you? You were scared to death. Because <laughs> if I knew that you had feelings for me, what would have happened? I might have thrown myself in your arms. I might have... I just might have sneaked into your bedroom when the children couldn't find out about it. No, that had not occurred to me. So I ask you again, wouldn't it have been simpler to tell me the truth? The truth is complicated. I have deep regret that I failed to express it. I apologize. That's a start. I want so bad to believe that by doing the right thing, I empower my daughter to do the right thing as well. It doesn't seem to work. Well, your daughter my is... My daughter is wounded. She is wounded. You, you cannot imagine what it has been like for her. And it is, it is, it is my, my prayer that somehow something can happen for her that... I think maybe the two of you can get to know each other better. There, there could be some healing there. I have the most profound respect for you. And um, I'm hoping you feel a little bit of that for me. You know, I'm always here if you need to talk, OK? How could I not know You two that? bonding over how much of a bitch I am? You haven't seen anything yet. Someone was murdered outside this house last night. If you really wanted to be with your husband, you would have been gone by then. Don't you dare pretend to understand my marriage or me. I don't understand your marriage, but I sure as hell understand you. You are so arrogant and egotistical. Dorian, I kissed you. And when I kissed you, you kissed me back. Don't you pretend you don't know what that meant. It meant that I could get David's attention. And boy, did it work. It's really fortuitous that Jack took that picture. 